So the first episode of Attack on Titan was called To You in 2000 Years. This one is called From You 2000 Years Ago. The title alone makes my body rumble. The rumbling didn't happen yet in the show, but I can promise you the rumbling happened in real life. By the way, I'm dressed in appropriate gear for today's episode. <sighs> That's the Attack on Titan deep breath. You have to do it before every episode. Let's just get to this episode. Let's let's get it out of the way, okay? They're showing the fight. Oh. Ah, Grisha is like a mix of Zeke's Titan and Eren's Titan. I love that. I fucking love that. This music, the greatest fucking music in anything. Oh shit. Oh my god. I'm already fucking crying, man. Like, we think the entire show that Grisha is the worst father, but he was manipulated by his son, which revisited from the future to the past to manipulate his current actions. What other show does this? <laughs> <laughs> oh Yeah, yeah, he saw him when he kissed the story his hands. Oh my god, that's when everything changed. He, he the whole show is spoiled for Aaron. She ain't gonna listen to you. Wait, oh shit, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yuki Kaji is Eren's voice actor. I'm on my knees right now. You are a god. You're a god. Come here. This guy sounds like he was actually in the studio with his hands tied up and he had to release himself somehow. I. Fuck. One of the most talented voice actors I've. Holy shit. Wait, did his hands grow back already? What the fuck is he gonna do? She, once she begins to move, she can't... Oh my god, wait a minute. From you 2,000 years ago. Oh, the music! Well, it just started! Oh, not the birds. Whenever they show fucking birds or butterflies, it means something. Oh my god, we're going back to the past. Oh shit, oh no. I need the Attack on Titan orchestra to orchestrate my death. What the fuck is this, Kingdom Hearts? What? What is this show? Don't tell me we're diving into her past. Oh shit! We're going back to how this all started? Where's everyone's eyes? Is this the eyeless town? This has to be before Titans, because because Ymir is the founder of the Titans. She's the one that started all of this, so this is pre-Titan. Oh, y'all done fucked up that day. Huh. Y'all chose the wrong town to burn. Any other town, the, the war would have been fine, but y'all fuck with this town? Oh, no. Shit. Don't tell me they're pointing at her. Oh, fuck. Oh, I would have started the rumbling myself. Fuck this town. Fuck the world. Y'all are gonna burn, and I'm gonna piss on the flames to let it out. This this, this, this world is going to hell right now. Y'all wanna point your fingers at me? Well, I'm gonna rip those fucking arms off and point them right back at your dead bodies. Oh, I'm definitely getting demonetized for this video. If she starts getting stoned or whipped or some shit, I could kiss my revenue goodbye. Oh, I love when they play this music. I feel like I'm swimming in Mario 64. <laughs> oh no.
Ooh, that symbolism. The blood on the flower. The 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 blood on the beauty of the earth. Oh, Ymir. Come on, man. They really struck gold with the, the voice casting for the show. Would they just stop chasing her? Get, get in the tree, come on! <laughs> this is the darkest shit I've ever watched in animation. This is darker than Bambi's mother dying. Is this how the Titans came to be? She, she, there was like a sperm in, in the water that fused with her? Oh, I want you to fucking annihilate everyone. Holy shit! Ymir? Oh shit. Turn into a titan and fling these motherfuckers to Shigunshina. Probably doesn't even exist yet, but fling them so far that they're flying. For, for, for decades until Shigashin is created. Oh my god, they're using her! You can enslave all of them! Yo, what is this? My seed! I don't want your fucking dirty seed! That... That's the saddest shit I've ever seen. She has the power uh, of a god power that no one has ever witnessed on earth at that moment in time yet she's still acting as a slave like she cannot escape her 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 slave mindset because that's who she believes she is that's all she knows that's the life she knows she's controlled don't get me started with this fucking music oh my god holy Fuck! It all started when y'all had to raid your mirror's town. I feel like I'm a church right now. I don't have a religion. I don't go by any religion. Titanism. That's what I believe in. If I go into a church and they're not playing this music, I'm fucking leaving. No! Oh, why did I clap? Not this fucking music. This is this is too much for me. It, it's a Monday morning. It's a Monday morning. <laughs> Fuck am I watching? Is this even allowed on YouTube? You sick little bastards. Maria. Rose. Maria Rosacina. Holy shit! Those are the towns in the Chigachina district. Call me. This is disgusting. Wow. What the fuck is that? The first colossal titan? Wow, they need to make a show from this time period. It's like she doesn't know any other life than being a slave. She could easily not be one, but she can't. She can't battle that. <laughs> が no way! No fucking way! No! <laughs> oh shit, no! Oh shit! You brought her eyes back! Oh my god! Oh shit! Oh my god! The rumble is gonna happen! Okay, so much just happened, but 
the moment that is going to be in my top five moments of this show is this moment right here. This right here. Aaron revealing that Ymir was the one that called him. That, that he was the one. He, she's been waiting for him. She's been a slave, enslaved her entire life, even as a titan. Look at that frustration. Like, she is ready to fucking unleash the rumbling. This is a top five moment right here. This was incredible. And Eren's head being reconnected to his body through the titan that, 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 that is the founding titan. The, the, the sperm cell looking motherfucking thing that, that, that started all of this. That fused with Ymir is now fused with an Eren. Fused his body back together. Now he has the founding titan. Now he's ready to unleash the rumbling. This is, that's a top five moment right there, without a doubt. What the fuck is that? <laughs> I, I didn't think the rumbling was him growing even bigger. I thought it just meant like all of these titans coming inside the walls. It's like, what the fuck is that? Say it louder, death? <laughs> what? Oh my god. <laughs> Arvin, you're way too optimistic, brother. This is the end of the world. But what is he doing with all of these titans? <laughs> oh my god, he's going for global annihilation! <laughs> すべての弓の民に。エレンの声が。俺の名はエレンニエガ。すべての弓の民へ話しかけて。そう Oh yeah, this is the rumbling, all right. <laughs> oh my god! The moment that we've been waiting for in the show has finally happened. The rumbling has begun. But what everyone believed, especially Armin and Mikasa, was that he'd used the rumbling for for them, like not not for world domination. This is. He is gonna destroy the fucking world, isn't he? Where, where is this show going? Does it ever begin? Nick, it just began. The show just... <laughs> Fuck you. They really showed so much with such little time, but it wasn't rushed. We felt for Ymir instantly once we saw the life she had and why she's doing what she's doing. Like, why? Where this all started? A normal show, they'd go like 12, 14, a whole season to explain it. But Attack on Titan explained it within like 10 minutes, 20 minutes. And you would expect that to be rushed, but it wasn't. They made you feel so much within those 20 minutes. That's the specialty of this show. They don't have to dive deep inside of everything. They don't. So the walls are finally broken down. All of the Titans that were in those walls that we've seen since season one, when Armin cracked in the wall and you saw the eye, or season two ended like that, where you saw the eye within the wall, all of that is coming full circle now. Now all of them are coming out of the walls and we're gonna have like world domination. You have like millions of these colossal Titans. It's the rumbling. He's gonna take over the fucking world. He doesn't wanna just do Shigachina and Paradise Island, fuck that. He wants the world now. I don't know who to, who to be with now. I don't know to be on Zeke's side. Are they all gonna team up now to stop Eren? How the fuck are they gonna stop Eren? What, are they gonna get all the Titans together to fight him? But still, he's like the size of, of a state. He's like the size of New York right now. How the hell are you gonna stop him? Y'all gotta dig up Annie. You gotta dig up Babagook, Bertamiel, whatever the fuck his name was, Bertolta. You gotta dig him up. You gotta get two Colossal Titans. Yeah, I don't know what they're gonna do. I seriously don't know. Whenever you think you could predict the end of the show, they hit you with an episode like this that just knock you off course. And now you only know what's going on. You don't know. Tanjiro might come on the show with our little Anya from Spy Family. I, I don't know anymore. 
I don't know. You might have a live action character like 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 Anakin Skywalker cross breed into this. I just don't even know what to say. Phenomenal, phenomenal episode. Not my favorite. Everybody said this is their favorite. My favorite is still the one before this episode. Guys, let me know down below what you thought when this happened. When you when you first saw all of this. Eren convince Ymir to not be a slave anymore. That he's here to save her like she wanted him to do. And him turning into this, this fucking mega thing. Let me know down below what you thought. When you first saw the, the thumbnail in my, in my, in my, in my, um, on this video. That, when you saw that face of Eren, what'd you think? It's not even Eren any anymore. Who would have thought little tiny Eren would turn into this? He's a monster now. He's a monster. I don't know where this is gonna go, but... All I know is, uh, I'm going. I'm gonna go die when this show ends. That's for sure. Goodbye.